It is very easy to legislate the removal of an inanimate object. I've been carrying weapons my entire adult life. And it's very easy to legislate removing that. It is nearly impossible to legislate the healing of a man's soul. And that's the core issue here. It's not the weapon. It's the soul of the person that's been injured by combat, and I have multiple combat tours. So what you're doing, sir, is chasing a symptom, and you're not looking at the root cause. I understand you volunteered to study this again. I read your resume. It's incredibly impressive and tragic at the same time. I'm very sorry about your family's history. It's just terrible. Um, your academic record is incredibly impressive. And it just seems like you want to do more of the same. Study, 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 study. On a philosophical level, the Constitution of the United States has a provision that's written into it that allows you to change the Constitution if you feel that it's been an error or it needs addition. That's the amendment process. The 18th Amendment was passed that prohibited the sale of alcohol in the United States of America. It was in play for like three years, and they realized it was a terrible mistake because it had uh, increased um, organized crime, and it was repealed. The original error that Mr. Takano is referring to it wasn't just an error, it's the original sin of the United States of America. The compromise was made to count human beings as two thirds of one person if they had more melanin in their skin than other people. And that was horrible. The finest, in my opinion, amendment that has ever passed in the United States of America is the 13th, which got rid of slavery and indentured servitude. So in the spirit of the 18th and the 21st Amendment, which repealed it, um, are you calling for the repeal of the Second Amendment? I am not. I'm prepared to accept the way the Supreme Court has interpreted the Second Amendment and to try to work within uh, the, the exception in Justice Scalia's uh, statement in, in Heller that the right is not unlimited. And so it That's falls correct. To and in reading law... In the book, Reading Law, Antonin Scalia goes through the developmental process of the Second Amendment, and I think that you're misinterpreting what he's saying. So, now listen to me here. What we're doing is we are subverting the Second Amendment. The Veterans Administration does not have the authority to remove constitutional rights now or ever. This body, including my Democrat colleagues, are the only body that are chartered by our Constitution that can change it. You are not. Neither is he. You can't do that. And you're actively, willfully, and knowingly subverting the Constitution of the United States of America, and that will not stand with this body, sir. So either you amend the Constitution, which is incredibly difficult on purpose, so you can't willy-nilly change these things, it takes a very deliberative and hard-fought process. We watched the movie Lincoln last night as a body, and it's fantastic. It was a two-month period of time about the ratification of the 13th Amendment, which freed men and helped correct the original sin in this country. And it was 20 Democrats voted for that. And if they had not, it would not have passed. So either you call for the repeal of the Second Amendment or you stop doing this. And you stop doing this. Knock it off. You're subverting the constitutional rights of American citizens, and you don't have that authority. We do. No. That is all I have to say. Yes, sir. Please comment, Mr. Swanson. I certainly concede that we cannot broadly limit legal access to guns. Well, then don't. What we have to do is something more difficult, and that is to figure out who are the people who pose such a high risk of harming themselves or others that it is justified. Mr. Swanson, you're a clinical psychologist who's been in this field for almost 40 years, and you haven't figured it out yet? Then maybe you should look I, at a different vocation, sir. I think we've made a lot of progress on that score, and I think we, we have, have not. Have Veteran suicide's increasing. That's not true. That is not true. We've spent $19 billion in 2023 on suicide prevention, and suicides are increasing. We need so to your, your, the, your, methodology, your methodology has been proven to be bad. 